Okay, um, you all, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go in and practice flat ironing. Now, I'm talking in the form when we're working with uh, clients who have uh, very coarse, very dense, very, um, uh, 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 yeah, very dense and very coarse hair. And it's, it could be extremely curly, so it's just kind of real frizzy at the moment. Now, when we're going in and we talked about tension, everybody say tension. Tension. There was tension in roller sets. There was tension when we're dealing with blow dry. It is tension when we're working with flat iron as well. So you're going to have to stretch that hair when you apply heat to it in order to get maximum results with minimum effort. Everybody say maximum results, maximum with, results. Minimum with, minimum with minimum effort. Okay, so therefore, we're going to start off now. When we're looking at our flat iron, this is a tool that we use to uh, get the job done. Yeah. But what we like to see is there is a temperature that actually alters um, that you could work with. And because I'm working with blonde hair, I'm bringing this temperature down all the way like in between 380 to like 350, okay? Um, and I go in and I press that hair out so it doesn't scorch the hair, that it doesn't burn it. Because the lighter it is, when we talk about field melon, that provides ginger, um, blondes, red tones to the hair, then it has a lot of exposure to heat where it'll burn a lot faster. How many of you all that light skin and you get in the heat be like, oh my God, I got a tan super fast. Now, somebody that has you melon, they may be like, oh, well, I could tolerate the heat a little bit longer because I got a lot of dark pigment in my skin, right? And so when we use heat protectors, heat, protector, heat protectors, they play a tremendous role when we are looking at like sunscreen for our skin. And so it is for your, for the hair with the heat protectors, like a, sunscreen so we're gonna um, I'm gonna adjust the heat because today we see a lot of clients that love these pretty colors every dramatic color plays a dynamic role that actually calls the hair to be pre lighting first right and so we see that but we are finding out weeks down the road that the hair is doing what breaking getting brittle getting dry so we want to eliminate as much as we can so if we understand the rule of thumb when it takes when you're using your flat iron you just need to know that i need to make that heat a lot lower okay so i'm going to take paper thin everybody say paper thin. paper thin these paper thin subsections that we're going to take is going to no more what um how many inches give you control two. Two. everybody two. Two. two inches two inches give you maximum control without over directing so the more that you stay consistent in your doing the more that it will become more uh controllable that you will be able to overcome some of the greatest things that got you stagnated now in creating two inches in length, then I want to make sure that I make paper thin. Everybody say paper thin section. Paper thin. That's like an eighth of an inch or thinner. Reason for being is you want to make sure that that heat travels well all the way through each hair strand that we see. So when we take a paper thin subsection, we're going to pull it out. Everybody say 90 degree. 90 degree. You pull it out at 90 degree. Why? Because I'm going to come in and insert my flat iron and I'm going to take and tap. And I like to tap about three times. Everybody say tap three times. Tap three times. Tap, tap, tap. tap. Okay. At the base. Why? Because you don't want to burn your client. If you take it and you hold it there and leave it there, 
what you think is going to happen? She's going to be jerking her head, and she's going to be like, oh, my God, you baby. You know, so in order to stay away, you want to stretch that hair, and you want to go in and do what? Tap three times. Tap three times. One, two, three. What is that doing? That's helping to stretch the base area, that which is closest to the scalp, so it'll straighten out first. Now it's time for me to come in because I tap at the scalp area. Now I'm gonna come in and pull out about a half an inch, take in place my comb, and just pull that hair straight on through, following through with my comb. So I do not see any indentations. What did I do with the hair? Did I pull it straight out or straight down? Which one? Straight out. Straight out. Okay, everybody say straight out. Straight out. Straight out is always going to be 90 degree. So when you comb that hair and you're pulling it straight out, then no demarcation lines is going to be exposed to that strand of hair. Now, again, I'm going to demonstrate that to you again. I'm going to take a subsection that is paper thin, paper thin, an eighth of an inch or thinner. And I'm going to go in, take about in length, how much? Two inches. Two inches. And what am I going to do after that since you are on point? <laughs> tap three times, everybody. Okay, so I'm stretch tap three times and then I'm going to put my comb and then chase take it, it and chase that comb on down through the ends. And I pull the hair straight out and tap it. Now it's giving me a lot of movement. Now, this is something that I want you all to play, think about. When you have a extremely nice, straight um, press out, I want to come close to this. I'm going to take and comb through that hair, but when I comb through it, I'm going to take my comb vertical and just take ripples. If you don't see the rippling lines throughout that hair when I go through it vertically, that lets you know the dynamic of your flat iron is going to be exceptionally wonderful. Everybody say, exceptionally wonderful. Exceptionally wonderful. Yes, and that's what we want taking it, going through, and whipping the teeth through that hair, and you see any of those gaps manifesting or opening up? No, it just kind of seals back together again. We talking about how silk just flows and how things are just roll off of silk, or you think about the rain touching the windshield and it just running off. I was getting ready to say something else. But, uh, <laughs> But you all get the picture, right? Yeah. All right, so therefore, what we're gonna do is we're gonna perform this here service, flat iron for a finished result, and in that finished result, then we're talking about having a client to say, this is what I always wanted, okay? So everybody put your hands towards me. We gonna say something different. Who got a positive saying? What we could say. We Come on. Huh? We all got 24 hours. We all got 24 hours? Yeah. Well, okay, what, what that what mean? mean? She'll put in that work. Okay, put in work. okay, put in work. And, and the kind of thing we gonna say, put in work. One, two, three, put, put in, in work. work. All right, good deal.